Hey everybody, hey now, it's so it's your buddy Soda Ron here again. Uh, I got here's here's the wet. Hi everybody, hi. Um, I just wanted to show this replay to you. I'm here. Uh, I'm not gonna have my cam on because I will be popping in and out at the uh, as this plays through. I took glacial augment Orn because I really believe Orn can be a support, and then he could. That could be something that's used this weekend, next weekend, that teams can flex Orn as a support just as well as jungle. But uh, I haven't, I think he's more support than he would be jungle. But I want to show you that Orn can support. So here I have a 21 minute game for you from the solo queue. I went three and three, I uh, had 37 CS, and I ended with 5,691 gold in 21 minutes. So I just I wanted to show that Orn can support. Now, I do not take responsibility because I was playing the greedy way that it takes to win solo queue. I do not take responsibility for that because that is not the play style I condone. I, my play style is to play with your teammates and win and work together to win. So anyways, here we go. Got the stats up for you. We had a Teemo on my team. That's, but uh, it was me and Samara down in bottom lane into Tristana, Seraphine. So, okay. I'm go ahead and play this. I will be popping in and out. I'm, I'm making some dinner right now or breakfast or whatever it is. Not planning to sleep today. Uh, okay, here we go. And, uh, I, you know, maybe I'll do a commentary later where I run through it again. You know, I'll pop up tab every once in a while. Or maybe I just need to run along with it. We'll follow Orn here. When you first go in the game, I guess uh, I might as well commentate this, right? I can dinner could wait 20 minutes or so. All right, so when you first get in a solo queue game, you want to start pinging around, showing where you're gonna go, and that's one thing that I see a lot of players in solo queue that get irritated at me because I ping constantly. But that's something that it takes at the highest level. I forget to put that in my my content, but. Because I was a Warcraft 3 player, so pinging was already part of the game. I was already used to it when I got into this. And I see people in solo queue get upset when people ping. And, and you need that to... It's made to communicate with your teammates so you don't have to type to each other, right? That's why you ping. For example, there our Nunu was... Just ran into what? Four? Four people there? Yi is up at his buff. I'm down here guarding so they didn't come invade this way, but they went that way and they take our red buff. But that's alright, we don't need to worry about that. that. That's the type of stuff that people get caught up in on solo queue and then it's the end of the world. If that happens to you, just let it go and start on the other side. It's not that difficult. I hope I have my sound on. Okay. So I'm just kind of... I don't have a ward there, do I? I? I knew they would path back that way. And there... Look at all that vision red team has on the mini-map. This is what we want. We want to get that much vision all the on their side of the map so we see everything. I guess I need to go back to this. See guys, look. Look how close I am to dying in the very beginning of this game and I don't give up. So I, I want to show you not to give up. Watch this trade, how close I come to dying. Might have changed the entire game. Uh, I tried to... I quickly skilled up the, the dash to get out of the way. I didn't want to run into the wall. Uh, I really wanted the Q or the W. You can use the W so you don't get snared or caught up in CC. So... That's one thing I've recently learned about Orn, which 
somebody pointed out about Orn. Uh, it was Zeus on T1 was using the W on Orn as a way to stop or stop crowd control on Orn. So he can't be rooted. I don't think he can be snared. So, anyways, we're pushing up this wave. Um, guess maybe I should restart it again because where I was talking. Because we're starting a laning phase. Guys, just chill out, calm down. You know, you don't you're not in a hurry when you start the game. The Samara I have is bloodthirsty. That's that's all she wants. But anyways, oh, look how close to death I was. I didn't give up, and a lot of people would have give up right there at the, the very first trade and died. Uh, it might have been different if I died there and not win. But uh, we, we're crashing this big wave into here, right? This is the thing I see players at solo queue don't understand. It's crashing the waves. See, we don't need to push up any further than that. This is what we should be doing. You don't want to push up further than this. See, we're, uh, Samara's gonna pay for it right here because she's greedy and overextended. It shows exactly what I wanted you to see. She should have probably recalled with me, but she got greedy. So, she thought, oh, I need more gold. Oh, wait, where's my support? Um... So I don't really agree with her. That's not what I wanted her to do. I wanted her to recall back with me. Because we, you know, that's... You want to shove the waves up like that and then come back. And be safe. So I think what's Orn doing? He went back. Orn here went back and got a refill pot and a control ward. See, I had to back, what, three minutes? Uh, three minutes into the game. So we're getting, we're pressured in. They call it, got lane pressure here. I didn't exactly see what Nunu -Nu did there, but we're, we're focusing on Orn in this game. So see how important this, they call this a J4 ward right here. You see how important this is? This one too, up against the wall. That was a, oh, who did that? Did Orn do that? See this, this ward that I just pushed through the wall here? So I, so we can see on the other side. That's to keep us from getting ganked or Yi coming up in here or anything. It, wards can relieve map pressure. Seriously, just going up there, placing a ward that, like, might make the enemy back off. And uh, so wards are the best item in the game. I say it's the. You can turn 75 gold into 300 gold. Here, I don't know what I'm doing. Just doing something stupid that I don't recommend. Let's watch. Trying to get some CS there. I wanted to get that cannon minion, which I did. See how I paid for it? It wasn't worth the 75 gold. In that situation, it was to me, but. I almost died, so if I did it again, I wouldn't. You want to hit these last hit these minions. This order. There's some things I want to show people early, early laning phase mechanics that are important, uh, like these. This is where you need your support to make like one hit on that. So I'll explain it another time. When you're farming under the turret, there's a certain pattern where it's like. Two hits on the minion wave from the cannon and then you do the third and it's the last hit but there's some where you do two and there's still not enough damage done on it for the last hit so you need your support to do the third hit and then you do the fourth or something like that so uh, I'm making a ruby crystal there so I've already got 150 more health I'm again uh, this is about Orn and how I think Orn would be a, a flex pick uh, support and can work so that was the theory going into all of this was, hey, I bet Orn can support. Let's try him. So here we go. Uh, Orn is probably the strongest champion in the game overall. When you give him, he gets like a 10K. He makes up for 10K gold later on in the game. The items. 
It's just very strong, so he's worth... If you could get Orn every time, you might as well get Orn every time. Uh, because of the, the... You know, that's my theory in the support is... Well, now we got the item upgrades from our support. You know, I think it's worth it. I was skilling up the W. Maybe should have went the E first. This, again, is a stupid thing that Samara and I are doing. That we... We want to stand back here a little bit more, see how... I wasn't used to Seraphine's uh, range, though. That was something new to me. So, Tristan on Seraphine there, they got a pretty good range. Yeah. Luckily, we didn't die. There, Tristana got greedy. You see those pro mechanics there? Was that a flash that Orn made? Don't want to toot my own horn, but... Did I make some crazy flash out play there? Oh, look at that. There's those Warcraft 3 mechanics. There's those iron mechanics of Sodoron. Should I toot my own horn again and show you this flash play? I see this stuff all the time in pro play, and... Personally, I'm older, so it doesn't really amaze me. That's something I've done coming into uh, League of Legends from playing Warcraft 3. Because I already had the mechanics like that to flash. Just control the, the character and the micro control, like in the laning. Where you... The pros, they, they constantly spam clicks. But there's a reason to that. It, one thing is it keeps you from being nervous, but it also gets you so you can have... You see the flash I had back there? That was from, like, the spamming, and I was warmed up to make a flash like that. How far back was that? Oh, whatever. Now, somebody out there, make me a, a highlight, please, because I'm too old to know how to do that stuff. That's the excuse my mom gives me, that she's not going to learn anything anymore, so I have to do it for, like, Facebook or her phone or... No. Personal item. Not in charge of somebody's Facebook or phone. So I needed to go back to refill the pot. That's another thing about Orn is you don't really... You need to go back to get the, uh, the control wards and refill your health pot, but that's really it. So that's another reason to have Orn. He can adapt into the lane, as in the laning phase. So in the laning phase, your support can be, well, I got 200 more health, health all of a sudden. So there's another reason to play Orn. That in your laning phase, your your support is just slowly gathering up better items because he doesn't need to back. So that's another reason to play Orn support. I'll harp on it more. So here's Nunu coming in. He's late for the party. But again, we're focusing on Orn in this game and how you play Orn support solo queue. It was more of a theory than anything because I haven't seen Orn support and I, I've heard jungle and I thought, oh, I, I'm good at support. I'll play. Uh, let me try him support. I'm good at Orn and I'm good at support. Let me try it. And it turns out it works. So you've got the item upgrades. You've got being able to make the items in my, I don't know what my team's doing there. That's why I, Uh, my my thing is don't throw. play the game in the dark, and my team was running around there in the dark. See, I was being patient. Now, some people might have said I stole that kill or something. I don't play that way. I don't think that way. I'm looking for the CS. I've just told players that we're looking for 100 CS at 10 minutes, 200 at 20, 300 at 30. These guys, that's challenger pro level, the numbers I'm talking about. These guys aren't even close. Right? 
47. And another thing is, I need this at 8 to 10 minutes. There's some teams I'm studying at Worlds, they get this, like, for 4 7 minutes on you, me, I've seen. Upgraded, and you have wards, so then Horn can leave this lane and go mid or top and put some wards down. Because people forget that now the the actual wards that us old people grew up on in the game why did it direct okay now what was i talking about again something about how awesome horn support is See how good our warding is? We, uh, that's pretty much where you want to ward right there. We keep from dying to Master Yi. I've seen a lot of games where people would easily die to this every time, but we've got two sets of wards there, so that's why we got them there. See, just, that's one of the main reasons we got them there, so we know where the jungler is. I don't understand why that went back to directed mode again, but okay. I put a ward there, so in case we get shoved in, it's a good spot. Because jungler likes to stand in that brush where I put a ward. Or mid laners will stand there. Uh, they're middle. Also, what I'm playing, I, I'm constantly looking at the mini map. I'm not really looking at the laning. They're unstoppable. I think did something to keep me from getting slowed. That W, it'll... It has some form of anti-CC built into it. Here, I probably need to... Since Nunu was hanging out there, but... I needed to go back. I also built a, a, an item I don't really think you should get first, but I did it. This is... I don't condone it, but... I did Balmy Cinder first, so it do more damage, so I went that way instead of armor. Should have went armor. That's the team, the good teammate type thing, but this is solo queue, so just showing you what if you want to learn how to win out there and you have Orn and you like to support or you own Orn and you can play support, here you go, you can try out Orn support and you can win. This is the first time I've ever played it. So red team is getting dragon. In this game, I'm trying to hang out down here because I want this support item. I want my relic shield to level up. I didn't have vision there of anything. I didn't know what I was running into. That's one of the best Orn alts. That's the good Orn alt, they call it, where you flash into it. Look at that three-man knockup. What? That 12.30? I, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not to toot my own horn, but I make I've made plays like that all the time, and then I'm told I'm not good at this game. I just did a three-man horn alt with the flash. Then I chased their support. Here I uh, I'm. I'm a goner right there, right? Maybe I should have turned on Seraphine. Regardless, he's a goner. Looks like uh, Nunu does good into Yi, huh? His snowball stops him. So I guess this is the point here. You're a solo queue player. What's the what's the next goal, Coach Soda? What do we do? We want Samara down here to get this wave. We want our mid laner to get this wave, and we want our top laner to get this wave. Wanting to do? It's what? 
13 minutes in the game. I was wondering about the first Herald. Okay, so I am level six, or Orn is level six here, whoever. <laughs> so Doron Orn is level six. I must admit, I don't brag. Or, that was a really awesome Orn all that I made. I will admit that. But that's another reason to play Orn support, guys. Why, after I did that, I upgraded my item. So, why wouldn't you play Orn support? Down here, sweeping out vision. That's support. One of your main things is you want to sweep out all vision. You're in charge of vision. The thing I was doing over the summer was uh, vision. My mantra and my stuff is vision and vision and how it's the most important thing in the game. It's more important than gold. I'd rather be able to see than to have to spend gold. So, vision. Okay. At this point, I'm wanting to help my other laners. I, I get bored personally staying locked in a lane. And also, I need the smear I couldn't farm with either. There I did a horrible horn. See, I got like the most amazing horns to horn all ever, right? I was trying to get horn right there. I would have been too awesome. I would have been too awesome horn alts in a row. So, you know. Trying out for teams, guys. I need an orn support. Also, there you go, Orn is building something. Went Ninja Tabby. Which I think is a good pick. Ninja Tabby here against Master Yi. Need them alone just for the Master Yi damage. Well, and then you got Tristana on top of that, so yeah. Because you could say Merc Treads for Scion if you get stunned. Rise Rooted, but. Uh, what does Seraphine have? I don't know her kit very well. I, that's one I need to try. I think of her as Sona too. I, so, I never really... I'm here farming mid lane, which is not really where I should be or what I should be doing at this point in the game. But let me show you in solo queue, guys. All right, I'll show you what I decided to do here. You never want to let waves go to waste when possible. Now my team's fighting down here, but my mid laner's missing this, right? Like, this is just gonna go to waste, so I might as well pick it up. Rise, wants, Rise keeps wanting to go there, so I'm... He doesn't... See where he doesn't know what to do? I've got many more methods to get, show you guys to trick people, but... See how Rise does not know what to do, where to go? So then he loses a wave and a teammate at the same time. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why Teemo's coming down. See how Teemo has a wave here? This is where Silas should be going there now. While Teemo and I are... Sho we should be shoving this turret. And see, this is, again, normally I don't get to be this strong as a support, but with Orn, I can almost be a mid laner. And so Silas should be going here uh, to pick that farm up, or okay, Timo's going. Yeah, okay, so Silas is he he's getting his farm. Samira is one of these players that wants to solo adventure, so that's where I decided. All right, I'll just help the other teammates, and she can just die down here over and over and over again, and not change her ways which i think they call that insane if you keep going down to bottom lane and you keep dying to four people and your teammates don't come down there and you keep doing it chances are it's gonna happen the next time and they call that insane but so they shoved the herald in on us Sorry for the, the rant. Okay, not sorry. 
I'm trying to get these minions, right? That's... I am trying to get these so the, the turret aggros them. If I got them, it would have got Rise and Yi when it came up, right? Just showing some players out there. Again, there's probably some other people that know all that, but there's, there's some people out there that they don't know everything like everyone else. So they do want to know and learn. There I whiffed another. That was a bad one all. So I don't want to replay that one. That one was just as good as the last one. Which weren't as good as the first one. <laughs> Another reason to Orn, you got a dash. You have a support with a dash. Why wouldn't you want that? Tell me another support that has a dash. Does Rel have one? Uh, yeah. You got Maokai's W, that's kind of like that. See, Orn's got that too. He's got basically Maokai's W. You just have to uh, EQ. Or you also, with Orn, besides the Q makes a pillar, right? And then if Orn can ram into people with his E. I whiffed that. There's some mechanic there where you can hit those and sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Because I've also messed with Orn's Orn Jungle, but this is the first Orn support game. Uh, Orn really needs his support item here. Seraphine has hers. I could not get Samir to farm with her. So... Basically what you do is you stay 10 minutes solid in the bottom lane and you level this up and you get the wards. And that gives you a big advantage because then you can go top or mid and then the other team has to follow you or will follow you even though they shouldn't. This is a spot down here where they hide wards so I'm checking it or clearing it out. I don't know why, I should have been making videos like this for a long time ago, guys. I literally throw stuff like this away for no This game. It would have just went into the ether and never been seen again, this game. That's one reason I don't play that much, but I can usually win if I try. It depends. But, uh... Not every game makes me want to try, or people that I meet. There's people that make me not want to try. So, it's to win, it takes a positive attitude. I guess this team must surrender already, because it was like 21 minutes. So this is another thing that you shouldn't be doing, but I'm down here clearing minion waves, getting farm. It was going to waste, so... Again, it's not really the playstyle I condone, but I'm showing you how I would play in solo queue if I was playing a support, so... It's... Not how I would want you, but it's the style that you need to play in at least the lower solo queue, I guess, to win. Me down here makes them worry about come. What this does is this makes them think they have to come get me. And this is the yo-yo thing I'm talking about. So I mess with people doing that. trying to recall how this game <laughs> ends because I was trying to figure out in my head how does this game end because it was like the 21 minute game I thought 20 maybe 24 oh okay it was there you go it was my team oh no it wasn't okay whatever 
going to say, I guess the other team gave up. I guess Orn support gave too much pressure on the map. That's one reason why I won that game is I kept pressuring places. And uh, this is stuff I haven't showed in my solo queue games before, but where and how to place map pressure. Now, a lot of it's because the job I've been working on has really leveled me up here over the summer where it's given me practice of how I converse uh, the ideas I want to show. That's something that's very difficult that you've got one idea or concept you want to show players, but how do you do that with slides or, or whatever, chalkboard? Chalkboard would be nice. So there we go with Sodoron Orn support. Three and three. It makes the other team surrender. Glacial Augment is what I went on Orn. Uh, something else that unsealed spell books really good on Orn, but I went Glacial Augment. It seemed to work very well, so I don't look very nice today. Ah, I'm in work mode right now. So it's work mode. It's Saturday. There's some pro matches going on later today, so everyone, please, thank you for watching my stuff and... Sodoron, please check out my channel. I, I, I'm on Twitter. I don't use the other stuff. So YouTube channel, Twitter, Twitch, Sodoron. Uh, there are, I think, many more great things coming soon. So to Sodoron channel or others that follow Sodoron. So thank you. Uh, yeah. See you. See you next time. Good luck out there. No, I don't.